Today, the first 747 prototype sits at the Seattle Museum of Flight. With peeling paint, RA-001 is a shadow of its former self as the museum struggles to raise funds to restore it. This is the number one airplane that was designed never to go into uh, airline service. It was designed as sort of a development airplane. We did a lot of interesting engineering work on this thing to, to get the airplane tuned up. The prototype still has some of the water barrels used to simulate payloads during tests. Banks of equipment that could measure how the airframe and engines will perform under the stress of flight. Forty-five years ago, this museum exhibit is a hive of activity. Sutter and his team raced to get the prototype ready to show to the world's press. Well, the media were all excited because here is a new airplane, which hadn't happened for a while. But there are more parts on the floor than in the airplane. We were still designing and testing the airplane, and uh, we didn't get an airplane put together until two days before we rolled it out. With wet paint and parts missing, the prototype rolls out to an expectant press and public. For Bill Allen, it's a relief to have something to show Pan Am and the nervous bankers. It's also time to reassure the 25 other airlines who've placed orders that this is the aircraft sensation of the decade. Rollout they came to us as uh, real excitement. It was pure adrenaline as far as I was concerned. TV cameras were there, everything was rolling. We were all in. Will the 747 fly?